uh, plant proteins. We used to have to go hunt for our proteins. And we really had the availability of protein was difficult. We were stuck looking for protein, scavenging and hunting for our protein. Even worse, sometimes instead of human beings eating their protein, the protein would eat the human beings. That's the problem with hunting. Animals are dangerous. They don't want to be hunted. That's one of the things that happens when you have to go out and get your protein by killing animals. When we figured out we could use seeds for protein and we could actually grow protein, we could control our protein intake and protein availability, human civilization started to take off. The first culture that really took advantage of seed protein growing and harvesting, at least in a really large scale, is still renowned as one of the greatest civilizations of all time. And uh, it was located in Iraq, what is today Iraq. It was the Sumerian culture, and the Sumerian culture began between two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. It was basically located in the middle of these two rivers, and the ancient Greeks called, called this area Mesopotamia, meaning the middle of two rivers. And these two rivers made the land very fertile and farmable, and some people believe that this, uh, this is the area that was referred to in the Bible as the Garden of Eden. Whether or not this is the case is up for speculation, but what is known from historical record that the Sumerians and later the Babylonians who lived in this area figured out how to exploit water via irrigation. They began to grow seeds. We call these seeds grain. And because of their high protein content, or relatively high protein content, these seeds and grains were able to be used by humanity for energy. The problem was, in addition to having lots of protein, these seeds also, unlike animal protein, contains lots of sugar. And that's not such a good thing. So while seeds and grains allowed the human body to survive, the sugar content kept the human being, the human form, from being able to, uh, to thrive. So with grains and agriculture, humanity could survive, but not thrive. In addition, when we got... We figured out how to farm. Food diversity became affected, and we began to count on fewer varieties of food to survive. Thus, our almost complete dependence on heavily processed, calorie-rich, nutritionally empty food that began 10,000 years ago and has really progressed at a mind-blowing pace in the last 200 years can be considered to be the root cause of almost every single malady that faces mankind. Ultimately, once we became dependent on grains for our protein needs, our bodies were equipped to make it, to survive, but not to be big and strong and robust like the bodies that preceded agriculture and got their protein needs met from animal sources and from hunting and from scavenging. In an interesting way, protein is actually a type of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate means carbon and water. That's all a carbohydrate is. Carbo, carbo for carbon, hydrate for water. A sugar is a carbohydrate, a fat is a carbohydrate, and in a way, a protein is a type of carbohydrate in the sense that it's got carbon and water, but it's a special type of carbon and water. A protein is a special type of carbohydrate. It's a carbon and water with an explosive element, the workhorse of life, the element which has only been around in usable form in, in, in relatively small quantities. We don't really have a lot of this nitrogen around. The element that's a rate-limiting step in the formation of life, the ultimate anti-aging, body-building, youth-inducing element, nitrogen. Animals, humans, just like plants, can't grow without nitrogen. Nothing can grow effectively without nitrogen. Just go ask a farmer how important nitrogen is. One of the greatest advances in history, one of the greatest inventions in history is one that nobody really knows about or talks about. There's a guy named Fritz Haber who developed this industrial process to make nitrogen. He actually won the Nobel Prize for that back in the 1920s. What Haber did, he invented something called the Haber process, and he basically created these huge industrial settings that could duplicate in an uh, industrial fashion what tiny little bacteria living in the soil do in the microscopic world that these bacteria live in. And when Fritz Haber came up with his nitrogen-making process, the Haber process, all of a sudden we were no longer dependent on the conditions of the soil. And this is when food processing really, really, really took off, and agriculture really, really took off, and only been the last hundred years or so. The bottom line is, folks, it's all about nitrogen, and what makes amino acids so powerful is their nitrogen. Think nitroglycerin, the monster version of nitrogen. 
One of the uh, most important markers for bodybuilders and athletes is something called nitrogen retention or nitrogen balance. This is a marker of how much nitrogen the body has available to it. If you're after post-surgery, if you just had a surgical procedure, if you've just been wounded, or if you've had any kind of trauma, nitrogen balance is very, very important. When we're sick and there's no nitrogen available in the diet, if we have a degenerative disease, if we have cancer, or if we're protein deficient, the body's going to break down muscle protein in order to get more nitrogen. This can be avoided if you're eating enough nitrogen-containing protein, if you're eating enough protein, and if you're getting amino acids after surgery, after exercise, after any kind of trauma, if you're dealing with any kind of degenerative disease, make sure you're getting enough protein. Make sure you're getting enough nitrogen via dietary protein. This is an amazingly important strategy for all building. Whether you're coming out of a surgical procedure, dealing with a degenerative disease, or if you're an athlete and exercising, or if you're a bodybuilder, or even if you're just doing yoga, even if you're just doing some kind of mild exercise, even if you're just you know, walking, doing speed walking, nitrogen is super important via protein. Nitrogen is the active element in proteins. It's what distinguishes protein from all other nutrients. You can actually even think of protein as a carrier for nitrogen. As I say, protein is basically carbohydrate with a little piece of nitrogen. The nitrogen turns that carbohydrate into a machine, into a molecular machine. If we could enter into the world of protein, we would see the chemical version of wheels and gears and wires and transporters and uh, carriers and ferries and, and fans that spin around and scaffolding upon which everything hangs on, the way we fashion metal and steel in our modern world with buildings and cars and houses, cells fashion their world from protein. And this all happens because of nitrogen. No nitrogen, no protein. No protein, no machinery, molecular machinery. No molecular machinery, no life. And that makes understanding protein. That means understanding and utilizing tools for improving protein absorption. And, of course, that means using dietary protein and supplemental protein. Super, 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 super important. The best proteins come from animals. Animals are protein concentrators. Dairy, in particular, is an awesome animal protein as long as it's in its raw, unprocessed state, as long as you don't have allergies. The only components in foods typically that we get allergic to are proteins. So animal proteins can create some allergenic problems, allergy problems. But if you don't have any allergies, dairy is an amazing animal protein. Eggs are also a great protein. Eggs and dairy are life-rich foods. They're filled with unique active, uh, unique active amino acids. They're also filled with growth factors and immune-strengthening factors, immune-strengthening proteins. And all these are proteins, growth factors, immune-strengthening elements, specific amino acids that are found in, in uh, dairy products and eggs. They make these two foods super, super protein-important, protein-valuable. You can think of the building blocks of protein amino acids as basically nitrogen delivery systems. Most amino acids, as we said, have one or two nitrogen components, but arginine has four. And that makes it crazy important, especially for growth, especially for repair, especially for aging. If you have a burn, arginine cream can be a real effective way to help heal that. Same with diabetic scars, same with diabetic wounds as well. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with more good health information on the bright side. Right after this, don't go away. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else, a meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor and a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today eat them every day take them camping or save them for an emergency check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon that's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in oregon by oregon trail foods 30dayfoodsupply.com
This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number, 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and Installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MY-TV. 1-855-905-MY-TV. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side. Got a couple lines open for you at 855-660-4261. We'll continue to talk about topical arginine for burns, internal arginine for burns, and then we'll talk about arginine for Male sexual performance and erectile dysfunction. We'll do that tomorrow as we continue talking about super amino acid nitrogen. Did you guys catch this uh, article that appeared? Where did this study come from about Viagra and melanoma? Apparently, Viagra is linked to melanoma skin cancer risk, which is kind of interesting. And it just proves and just goes to show how uh, the relationship between internal toxicity And that's what drugs do. Viagra and other drugs, they create a a milieu or an environment of internal toxicity inside the body. 
And it just goes to show you how melanoma is much more connected to internal toxicity, toxicity in general, than it is to the sun. Yesterday we talked about how high SPF sunscreens don't mitigate or reduce the incidence or the, or the uh, degree of melanoma that people get. And now it turns out that Viagra internal toxicity is actually linked to melanoma. Once again, cancer, melanomas, and other cancers are more about the internal toxic environment of the body than any kind of outer triggers, and that's how we want to look at cancer. That's how we want to really look at all degenerative disease. This idea of degenerative diseases, which is what 80% of our health issues are about, this idea of degenerative diseases is really about toxicity, it's really about nutritional deficiency, and it's really about oxygenation problems, suffocation, starvation, toxification. And this is so, so, so important because it means that we have a huge role to play in how 